So I've always been a journalist. It was one of these things I was born with. I think age seven, I did a magazine every day for 30 days in the school summer vacation for my sister. And I kind of never managed to get a proper job since then. I've always been a journalist. So we set up Wired in the UK seven and a half years ago. And everybody said, why do you want a UK wide? All the cool stuff's happening in California. These local clusters of talent emerged and it started with a few big breakout companies. So Skype kind of put London on the map and there were companies like Waze in Tel Aviv. If you've got a great education system, if you've got just enough money to back some big projects, You've got people coming from lots of different nationality backgrounds and you create this enormous town square where people don't obey the existing rules. What happens when you've got some early breakouts is you get individuals who then go on to back other businesses, then you get VCs starting to pay more attention. You build an ecosystem. I get to see a lot of startups and there's a new buzzword. They all have to be machine learning startups. If they make coffee, if they do your laundry, if they're building robots, they're all about machine learning. There is a downside, and I'm not talking about the robots taking over Terminator style and killing us all. Um, I'm talking about the social effects of all this. There are going to be large job losses in some sectors. We are in a taxi, so I daren't even mention autonomous driving. But it's actually gonna solve a lot of problems. It's gonna solve lives. A lot of the automation as it hits healthcare reading scans, monitoring your bloodstream, wearing devices that monitor your blood pressure and warn you in advance of problems, genomic analysis to tell you actually you need to customise your diet. It's the machine that's going to be telling us this. I think that's pretty good news. It builds something meaningful. That's the cover line of our next issue of Wired. We've done a very in-depth survey of 24 magazine pages of purpose-driven companies that are making good profits. And there's a very, very nice correlation. It's not either or. Don't see it as a trade-off. Do I get money in my career or do I do something that doesn't have money but makes me feel good? Do both. I'm David Rowan. I'm editor of the UK edition of Wired magazine. And um, go and do something really useful, improves our lives. Thank you.